Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in to Hitting the Trail with Cletus today. Today, we are kayaking the Embra, and we put in right down here at the MVP in Falmouth, Illinois, and we're on our way to Newton. This should take us somewhere between two and a half hours to three hours, and uh, stay with us. And we've got Steve and Holly coming with us here. Beautiful day out, about 81 degrees and it just rained last night so this is going to be a great little float and our takeoff point here in falmouth is the historic mvp bar and uh great little place to go in and get a drink if you're thirsty um, and nationally known mvp happy holler so here's our first uh log navigational skill test we can go over here to the right but it looks really shallow so we're going to go over here to the left and see if we can make it through without having to get out and pull nice little current taking you through right here it's like there's of course that tree there you don't want to go over the top of that so we're going to go over here get around that dude and go right in between these two there we go navigated that one now in these shallow rivers like this when you go to the far outside that's where it's the deepest and uh, you can tend to get stuck less by sticking to the outside. As you can see, it's very shallow right over here. But over here, we've got some flow. One thing about kayaking rivers is always know your abilities because you can never underestimate the power of water. Um, if it shoves you up against a tree, the first thing it's going to want to try to do is get you pushed down and under it and through it and it can become very, very powerful. So never get yourself in a situation uh, where that could happen. Always bring your life preserver. And uh, of course, it's always great to have somebody with you. You just never know what can happen. So when you get out, have fun and get home safe. All right, guys, I also wanted to let you know, if you're on Facebook, search go-get out. That's my new brand and I'm trying to promote outdoor activities. Um, so if you could go there, if you've been out having some fun outdoors, please post it right there so I can see what you've been up to. Leave a comment down below. Tell me where you like to go. And of course, again, that's go-get out. Coming up on another sandbar. And there's quite a few of these along this stretch. If you do need to stop, take a break, get out, have some fun, stretch your legs. They are perfect places to do that. We decided to get out for a little bit of a cool off break here on this sandbar. And uh, again, just trying to walk through this water. It doesn't look like it's moving fast at all, but not even waist deep. You can barely push your way through it. So you can never ever underestimate the power of water. But that is a mess like you wouldn't want to get into with that current pushing against you so you want to get around it and again on this river um, it's fairly low there's not a very fast current even though it's still strong so you do have plenty of time to get out from around it uh, but always be very cautious of down trees and log jams when you're floating a river Beautiful out here today. This sure beats spending time on the couch watching TV. However, if you're watching this, you're either on your phone, on your computer, or watching it on your TV, and I appreciate that. But remember, to get out and experience stuff like this, you've got to go. 
Get out. Over the top of a log right there. Current is pushing you to the left, so you gotta make it through here before you smack into the tree to your left. Alright, we're coming up to another section here. I like to call this the boneyard. Nice little section. It's kind of shallow in spots. You gotta be able to navigate through all these. A couple of different spots you could take. Let me try to get ahead of Steve here. And take this step right here. And we made it. Hi guys. How we doing? Good, how you doing? Oh wonderful. Beautiful day to be out. Yeah? Yeah, we just got off. <laughs> awesome. You put in an MVP? Yep. Put in, yeah. Is that a good spot to do it, I guess, huh? Yeah, get out at the park and moving. Awesome. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. And Holly got beached on that one. Steve is smooth sailing. Oh, he got hit. What are we going to do now? <laughs> we made it. Yeah! <laughs> I don't want to get beached. Now let's take a look at what they've got going on. Looks like they're working their way out. Again, kayaking is a great, fun way to get out and exercise. But when you're out in the hot sun like this, be sure that you bring plenty of water to stay hydrated. That's the last thing you want to happen is get out here and faint or something and not feel good at all because that will ruin your experience. So always be sure to bring plenty of water, a few snacks, and just enjoy your time out on the river. What it looks like to have to pull your kayak. As you can see, it's ankle deep right there. There they go. Now they're getting somewhere. Another section of a bunch of down trees, so we've got to figure out the proper way to navigate through here. So, I think I'm going to choose. Go left. Try to get up over this log right here. We made it. All right. I don't know if you can see him up there, guys, but that is a bald eagle. Beautiful sight to see out here. I'm going to try to get that zoomed in so you can see that. Roosted up there on the limb. Well, folks, here it is. This is our glorious ending point. Thanks again for hitting the trail with Cletus today. Hope you guys had a great time kayaking with us. And remember, if you decide to go out kayaking on your own, be safe, stay hydrated, and bring a life jacket. For more great biking, hiking, and now kayaking videos, please click right down here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel right up here. And remember, go get out.